Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to install VirtualBox 5.1 on, on your Windows 10 machine. So before we get started, uh, I've opened up uh, VirtualBox.org. This is the official website for uh, VirtualBox. This is actually an uh, Oracle product and the latest version that is available right now is 5.1.22 which has been which was released released in April 2017 before we start the process of installation i would i want to uh, show you something more so once you go to the home page you see this guest operating systems so once you click that here you see that we have got the list of all the uh, supported operating systems that is actually supported by virtualbox so there are quite a few there are many in fact it supports almost all the available virtual uh, i mean operating systems what's important here is to note that the latest build of windows 10 or windows 8 it requires intel vt or amd v so this is the virtualization technology which means that that your cpu should have virtualization technology in it to be able to use uh, AMD V or, or VTX. To find out if your CPU actually supports uh, Intel VT, so VT stands for uh, virtual, Virtualization Technology and this is from, from uh, Intel and AMD is from AMD Microprocessors. So to find out in Windows 10, to find out if your uh, CPU uh, or your processor supports virtualization technology, there are two easy ways. First is to open up your task manager and in your task manager you can see here in the performance tab you can see virtualization enabled that means it means that it is available uh, it is supported by your CPU and it is actually enabled through BIOS. Another way is to check out is that to go, go to your command prompt go to your command prompt and type system info. and uh, it will take some time and it will actually uh, provide you all the details so here we see hyper v hyper v requirements here you see virtualization enabled in firmware it says yes so once you see these entries hyper v it means that your cpu has got uh, virtualization technology and uh, virtual i mean and then virtual box would be able to use it and there is another thing you know so like you need you need amd v or virtualization technology only for 60 bit 64 bit operating systems and not for 32 bit so let's say if you want to install 30 64 bit version of windows 10 then only then you would require only then you would require amd or um, yeah, amd v or or vtx so in uh, so far uh, so as far as i know i'm not really uh, as far as i know so um, you can you can install 32 bit version of um, operating system without um, vt without uh, intel vt or amd v another aspect with intel vt or uh, amd v is that uh, on most of the amd v processors uh, virtualization technologies come uh, virtualization technology technology comes enabled by default but in the case of uh, intel vt uh, then uh, your your processor might have uh, uh, VT VT technology, but then you'll have to go to BIOS and then enable it to be able to use it. So I have got a post on my website, uh, which is there in the you know, the link to which is present on the uh, in the description. You can go there and uh, and and see how to uh, enable Intel VT on your uh, on your computer. So now that we have so now that um, we understand what in, what is the requirement for intel vt and amd let's go back and start the uh, and see how to install virtualbox on windows 10. so this installation of windows uh, like virtualbox is the same either uh, if it is windows 7 or windows 8 it's the same so let's go to the uh, let's click on the downloads and then and then download the package from here windows host so here we have we see that it's uh, click on the windows host and then wait for wait for the download to complete so since i have already downloaded it um, i will not be downloading it again so here it is uh, so my downloaded file is in, um, in in my downloads folder to start the installation process double click on the 
double click on the the install the installation file which is the virtualbox 5.122 so this 5.122 shows you the version and this is the build number so double click to start the installation process double click on this on the installer now this is uh, this would actually open up a installation setup wizard click on next so you can accept all the defaults here if you want you can change the location in which it would be installed so in this case uh, it would by default it, it actually installs in program files or actual virtual box if you want you can change it by click it on clicking on browse and then by selecting any folder anywhere you want but i would be uh, but i would leave it as default then click on next now these are some of the features that would be installed so like uh, create uh, create start menu entries that's okay normally i uncheck this box click uh, uh, create a shortcut in the quick in the quick launch bar so this this area is called the quick launch bar so i don't really want this to appear there so i normally uncheck that box then click on next now this is the network interface warning so what it does is that it creates network interfaces for the virtual machines that you would be creating using vm um, using 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 virtual box that can actually interact with your host operating system so there is a, um, so this is just a warning so for time being so once you so when when this network in, interface i mean installation begins your internet might be disconnected for some time but there is nothing to worry about it you can actually go ahead and click on yes so this is like now you now we see this ready to install um, click on the install install button and now what you see is a user control access uh, account account control access this is this is a part of windows operating system what it um, what it wants to know is that whether if you are okay to allow this application which is oracle vm virtual box to go ahead and uh, go ahead with the installation process i'm okay with it so let's click on yes and the installation process would begin wait for the process to complete it doesn't actually take a long time so we just have to wait so that's it installation is over now either we can we can click finish directly but here you see that you see we see this checkbox that says start oracle vm virtual box after installation if we leave this checkbox as it is then once we click finish a uh, virtual vm virtual box application would run automatically so normally i just um, for most of my installation i do not check this option so now click on finish so now our uh, oracle virtual box is inst installed on our system so now what we have to do now to launch the application let's search we see this oracle virtual box right so click on that and here it is we can actually now we can go ahead we can let's maximize the whole screen and then we can create a new vms from here thanks for watching guys